At some point, we have all seen police helicopter camera footage in the news or YouTube videos of speeding cars or people running away on foot from the police chasing them. But it's not until they are chasing someone at night that we get to see them using their FLIR camera or forward-looking infrared camera. Most police helicopters are fitted with a nose-mounted flow camera, which is a thermographic camera that senses infrared radiation or heat sources, which is that iconic black and white footage showing the heat sources from the cars or the people running away on foot through bushes and trees. Now the flow camera can be used during the day to help find a heat source, such as in a forest. And some companies use special flow cameras to detect gas leaks, which are usually naked to the human eye. But police flow cameras are more commonly used at night in car chases or foot pursuits. But for as long as this footage has been shown on TV and YouTube videos, it's always been of a low level quality, not very detailed and kind of pixelated, but usually good enough to see and understand what you are looking at. Well, thanks to the Real World Police YouTube channel, they gave me access to some very high definition footage, showing off just how good police flow camera footage can be. And it's amazing just how detailed everything is. It's going northbound on 248, whatever you guys call it now, 42nd drive. Northbound on 42nd. Still continuing on 42nd. Yeah, guys, he may have gone under a trampoline or something like that. You're all in those different backyards. That's where I last saw him. I'm going to widen out and see if he kept moving. The address we show is uh, 4245 249. Motion 01 in custody. Radio copy, 1 in custody. 152, I can confirm the last one. Flow cameras capture infrared energy, which is the heat that is transferred by electromagnetic waves, which is radiation at wavelengths longer than that which we can see with the naked eye. Any object with a temperature above zero Kelvin emits heat a thermal camera can see, even in total darkness. But this is unlike typical night vision, which requires and amplifies small amounts of visible light. Thermal or infrared cameras don't need any light at all. They are highly useful and effective in the light of day or the dead of night and they can even see through smoke and light fog. Infrared cameras have come a long way over the years. The level of detail and heat sources they can pick up now is simply amazing. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.